A section of civil society organizations have denied claims of funding anti-government protests, terming the accusations a strategy to tarnish their image among Kenyans. The civil society countering government's accusations, even as the American-based philanthropic organization, and that is Ford Foundation, directed the government to its website for answers to audit queries it had raised via Foreign Affairs Principal Secretary Korir Singwe, who I should mention was unable to join us tonight, but will be joining us tomorrow. And the Kenyan Foreign and Diaspora Affairs Ministry had raised audit queries as regards a total of 752 million shillings disbursed to 16 non-governmental organizations, organizations by the U.S.-based foundation. Safina Ching Ouma with that report. A section of civil society organizations have termed accusations by the government of funding protests against it a breach of constitutionally protected freedoms. The civil society organizations, among them the Kenya Human Rights Commission and Transparency International, say their advocacy for good governance should not be mistaken for support for law breaking. We are deeply concerned by the recent letter by the government of Kenya implying that civil society organizations fund and support unlawful behavior and unruly protests, which are a stark contradiction to our work. We, categori we categorically repudiate these unfounded accusations and ask the government to remain true to the Constitution and protect independent civil society organizations and the media in Kenya. According to the organizations, the move is part of a well-orchestrated strategy by the government to tarnish their image among Kenyans and to water down their pivotal role. In recent months, civil society organizations have risen to initiate rapid response interventions to meet the pressing and overwhelming needs and concerns of Kenyans who have been affected by the crisis through the provision of legal aid for those arrested or abducted, medical assistance for those injured, and psychosocial support for individuals and families affected. These actions should not be misconstrued as support for the acts of lawlessness and violence meted against Kenyans and which civil society organizations have consistently called out all through the protests. We see the intimidation of civil society organizations as an extension of ongoing general repression against civic space and human rights defenders. They say that the government is using the accusations of financial motivation to discredit the Gen Z revolt. Young Kenyans have shown remarkable dedication and initiative in advocating for positive change. Their voices are not just essential, but inspiring in shaping the future of our nation. And they deserve to be heard and respected. Sentiments echoed by the International Commission of Juries, Kenyan chapter, who through their platform on X insisted that CSOs must be allowed to operate without undue interference and baseless accusations. U.S.-based charitable organization Ford Foundation has responded to a letter by the Ministry of Foreign and Diaspora Affairs raising audit queries over funding amounting to 752 million shillings, which was allegedly sent to 16 non-governmental organizations in the country between April 2023 and May 2024. In its response through a statement, Ford Foundation says... All its grant-making processes are transparent and readily available on its website, including a database showing where the funds go. The organization has distanced itself from any actions or speech that are hateful or advocate violence against any institution, individual or community. This comes in the wake of accusations by President William Ruto, who during his tour in Nakuru County accused the American-based philanthropic organization of allegedly funding the anti-government protests. And I want to call out those who are behind the anarchy in Kenya, those who are behind the sponsoring the chaos in the Republic of Kenya. Shame on them because they are sponsoring violence against our democratic nation. Mimi nataka niulize watu wa Ford Foundation watu ambie hiyo pesa wanatoa wanatoa ifanye fujo ndio wapate faida gani. Safin Acheng Oma Citizen TV. Mm. Mm.